Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, today we're going to do a little follow-up to the uh, Aluma trailer review I did about a year or two ago. This is uh, going to be a, a little build DIY video. I'm going to make some trailer sides for this thing. I want something uh, that comes on and off easy that I can just utilize when I want to haul larger amounts of dirt or stone instead of trying to put it in my pickup truck. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's get after this project. I'll go ahead and show you the material list and then we'll get started on it and we'll see how it turns out together. Thanks. So I planned this out. I think I got all the materials I need. Um, so what I picked up this morning is I went and got uh, 10 footers. I got the two by 12 by 10 foot uh, treated. So I got four of those for the project. And then I got one um, two by four by 10 that's going to be used for the stakes on the side and then also to make my cleats. In addition to that, I went to Tractor Supply and I ended up getting um, some quarter inch carriage bolts. So I'm going to use those to hook the cleats to the two by 12s. And then I grabbed some of these instead of a clevis pin that I can't really get to the length that I want. I grab some of these and then I can just cut the threads off at the end and I'm going to drill a hole through it for a cotter pin. And this is going to be my clevis pin to hold the stakes in um, the trailer so they're not going to bounce out on me. And then I just got a few um, nylocks and a few washers to use with the carriage bolts. So picked all this up at Tractor Supply and I already had, you know, I think I already got all the drill bits and everything I need so should be all set I don't remember if I just told you but these are three eighths is what I'm going with three eighths by six and then these are quarter inch by six carriage bolts so these are the hex bolts these are the carriage bolts so guys here's the trailer that I'm gonna put sides on so what I want to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I uh, use the two by twelve I got two by twelve by tens and it's gonna sit on the inside of the rail It'll obviously be up, you know, 12 inches, and then um, I'm going to use these cleats on the side just to hold the sideboards in place. And then what I plan to do is instead of trying to contour everything here and use like hinges or something, I'm just going to friction fit another 2x12 in the straight area here. And then I'm basically making kind of like a box frame. And then in the back, what I plan to do is I'm just going to make some cleats on the 2x12 out of a 2x4, and then I'll just stick another board in between the cleats. So we'll just basically have this nice square um, rectangular box here that we can put material in. Guys, I forgot about one more material. Um, I got some 6x6 blocks laying around. I got some 4x4 blocks. I just need to find the best ones that aren't all split. And I'm going to use my table saw to cut these down to whatever I need. Um, and then those are going to be the spacing between, let me show you. I'll cut that 4x4 four four or that 6x6 six six down, and that's going to be the spacing that I need in between um, the cleat here and the, the sideboard. Okay, guys, so here's kind of what it looks like to start with with the two 2x12s two in there. And... That one's laying a little flatter. I'm liking that one a little bit better. So I may get, I may try one more to see which one looks better. I can suck that down a little bit with the clamps, but over here you can already see I'm, I'm bowing up. So I'm gonna look and see if the other one lays better for now. All right, I just turned it around and you can see I made quite a difference in how it's laying on the trailer. So here's my first cut I'm going to make for the front board. Uh, I got this at 77 and a half inches and I'm going to leave the line.
Look at this here, guys. Little mistake I made. Too much weight and I tore the board out. I think I'll actually try to cut this and then just glue it back together. You guys probably saw that coming, didn't you? Oh yeah, we'll throw a clamp on there. Okay, let's see if this fits. I guess I'm extra confident because I already have the clamp on it. So obviously that's going to be in my way for a minute. gonna work all right guys you saw me use this little Irwin saw it's really convenient for things like that because you can get right in there and not have any frame in your way so I'll throw a link to that in the description you guys can check that out if you're interested in that and I'll also throw a link in there my DeWalt saw that I just used I really love that saw. I don't use it too often but I find projects like this my miter saw is not a sliding one so I can't even get I don't even think I can cut that 12 inches. I think I'm limited to 10. So in this case, uh, you know, this particular DeWalt saw works amazing for that. So we'll go ahead and cut the next one. We'll see if I can get it to not break away this time. I'll adjust the sawhorses a little bit here and hold the board myself. Okay, guys, I was just going to go ahead and cut the back one. But I remember I'm going to put that in between the existing 2x12 so I want, I want to get these snugged up on the trailer first before I start fitting that last board. So for the stake height I'm going to go with 13 and a half inches. Basically what I want to do is have my stake come through to the bottom of the trailer and then make its way up to the top of the uh, board. So it'll hang just below the trailer frame slightly if I go 13 and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to cut those to. All right, guys, Yankee came up with the third leg for his long 2x4. So I got my painting table and lots of shims.
Okay, we got our four stakes cut, 13 and a half inches. Okay, let's see what that does for us. We just took this side off. And that feels pretty good. Now, obviously we're tight front to back yet. So I could do the same thing there. And I probably will. But first I'm gonna check these other ones. They're probably all about the same. They should be anyway, so. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take one saw blade off all these and then I'll change the setup for the other direction. So for this, my blade doesn't go that high, and probably the safer way to do it is just to take one pass one way and one pass the other way. See how this works. Obviously, I could have sanded it down, but try to use the tools I got. Let's see how this fits. About perfect. I got the leeway I need to, so I think that'll work good. One saw blade off each side.
satisfying. Too bad we can't burn that. Okay, let's test our fit. We'll go to this front one this time. So let me show you something here, guys. The more I look into this, I think it would have been a little bit nicer to maybe have gone with the 12 footers because I think instead of this friction fit, I would actually like to have a cleat system in the front like I have in the back. Um, but I'm just afraid that it's going to, it'd be too close to the, to the stake here. So I'll probably still go with this. I'm gonna go with the cleat in the back. But see, the 10 footer just basically gets me exactly where I need to be. I just, the only reason I didn't go with 12 foot is because I really don't need it. And the main reason I would have went with it, but the 12 foot board, two foot longer board was an extra $20 a board. So it cost me $80 extra just to do the perfect, you know, more perfect fit. So for what I'm doing, that's why I went with the 10. But by all means, if you know 12 is a decent option for you, you might want to start with a 12. I'm actually going to reuse this one on the back, guys. Um, I, I realized as soon as I threw that glue in there that it was my interior glue, and I had it clamped for about 30 minutes, but it's, it's not even starting to take, and usually that glue takes so quickly. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. I don't need this much length for the back, so... I'm going to, you know, cut this shorter to fit in between my two 2x12s, and that'll probably take off most of my mistake that I made here. So I'm going to cut this one to 74 and a half inches, guys, to use in the back. Measure twice, cut once. I assume this is going to be a little bit tight. We might have to cut a little bit extra off. Actually doesn't seem too bad with a little shrinkage too. I think that'll be fine. A little tight right now, but we can always slice it off later. So if you weren't understand what I was talking about before, what I'm going to do is I'll have kind of some two by four cleats in here and that'll hold this in place for the back part. So 
now that we got these cut, um, actually we got to cut the front one again. Um, so then we'll go ahead and try these cleats and then we got to figure out what kind of spacing we need in between. Okay guys, I got the front piece cut and ended up having to take about one or two more blade lengths off of it. Now I'm just taking off some of the edges on these so they don't chip out. This one's already chipped out from our little mistake. I should probably hack that off. Or save it for later when I get some of the great glue out. Okay. And what we'll do there guys again is we'll these obviously aren't the ones but we'll make we'll make cleats like this out of the two by fours okay you can see that front piece just gotta really friction fit in there right now okay i guess it's finally time i know i said that before let's uh Let's get to start working on these stakes. Okay, I thought I was filming when I was setting this clamp, but I wasn't. So what I did here is I just took, I made the two by four flush with the side, and then I just stuck the clamp on top of there to hold it in the cleat, or to hold it in the bracket there. So that way I'll just kind of see what's natural for this thing. And then I think we can come up here and get our gap measurement and start working on what it's going to take to fill this. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to center this two by four a little bit, make it as plumb as possible here. And I think that'll, that'll it's a good thing we shaved down this two by four because it's already going to be a challenge. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good to start with. I'm going to go with that. So this is like 1 and 85, 128s. We'll have to do a little bit of breaking down on that a little bit. Or better yet, I'll just set my table saw up with these caliper measurements. Okay, guys, I transferred the measurement from the calipers to the table saw. It's always nice when you can just transfer a measurement and not have to remeasure. So I'm going to sacrifice this 6x6 six six to get my thickness have to do a few different cuts on it. We'll see how this table saw does. It could be kind of a challenge. We'll take it slow.
Okay, here we have it. Let's see what that looks like. I think it's beautiful. Good news is we'll get a few out of this. So now what I'll do, I guess, is I'll make a few pencil marks on here. And we can at least get our next cut we make, we'll at least do our 2x4 thickness. Or better yet, we're, we're probably going to need at least two of these. So we might as well cut one more of these while the saw is set up for this. And then we can size them. Uh, because everything should be pretty consistent between the front and the back. Okay, here's one and two. So let's get those drawn out. I suppose it's not going to hurt anything to have this there's I guess there's no reason to cut this down to fit exactly like the 2 by 4 I'm just going to leave this the thickness it is and just give us extra strength in this area so I'll cut this one first we'll wait and cut the other one when we get there okay like that and then my plan is I'm going to put two of those quarter inch carriage bolts through there to fasten that and let's check that see how we did on our guesstimate we went with the six inch on these because five inch wasn't going to be enough so we can always just cut off the excess but yeah that'll work perfect
Okay, one down, four to go. This one feels quite a, like it needs quite a bit more material than the other one. Um, yeah, so I could have screwed that up a little bit, guys, with the just with the shift from the front to back. I mean, I could I can force it in here, but I feel like this is going to operate much better if I just have a thicker shim. If I force that in, then I think it's going to start to bind. So let me see if I have enough material left on my 6x6 to get a little fatter one. Man, it's pretty, pretty close. There's not much more that needs to come off of that. And I don't have much good material here. I got cracks. Um, I could probably get what I need out of this end. But yeah, I don't know that I need to do anything. I might just use this as is. Probably better take one blade off at least because... When I hold this all the way up against there, it does bind on this 2x4 a little bit. Okay, let's see how we did. I took one saw blade off. That feels pretty good. Probably a little more than the saw blade, but it's not binding on it anymore. But I think that'll do it. All right, let's try this one. Let me shorten this up to what we need. And this one here, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I was like, hey, I'm not, I'm just lining it up to the front, whereas the other one was kind of centered on the two by four, but I'm gonna bring that further ahead and we could actually use this piece, this shim, if we wanted to throw a lag screw in there or something. So. Let's still bring this up. I'm actually just going to bring it up and make this flush with the front and make this flush with the back. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll use this as our height and then the front one can float. what we're doing.
Okay, one more here. Still feeling okay. Sure, man, sure is a good thing we took those shavings off. That was my dad's idea. Good job. Man, I sure am glad I had these bits. I've had those for a long time. They're uh, they're very wobbly looking when they get that long, but sure is nice to have one consistent length to go all the way through. That was a quarter inch bit. I don't even know how long that is. That's at least eight, eight inch bit, I bet. Guys, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, I sure would appreciate a like if this video is helpful to you. A subscribe. I appreciate everybody tuning in and going along on these fun projects with me. It's a lot of extra work to, to film. It takes a lot longer to do a project, but it's really fun to look back on it. Kind of like a video diary of all the projects I've worked on. All right, guys, you saw what I did on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the other side. So once I get that done, I'll come back to you and we'll start working on that back support back there. Okay, guys, I got all four posts in. So you saw those two. And then on the other side, um, I ended up using the thick piece everywhere. So I only used that thinner one when I started. But uh, so now what I'm going to do from here and you can see it fits fits pretty good this is what I got over here and then in the back here so now what I'm going to do I, I actually took this board down again because uh, it was just too tight and there's no reason for me to have it too tight it's just a lot of work when it is because I'm going to have my 2 by 4 out here so right now I'm going to go ahead and cut those um, those four two by fours to fit in here. And the way it's sitting right now is where I plan to put it. The two by four is actually just right up against those carriage bolts to the point where it's covering the carriage bolts, um, you know, so you wouldn't catch on them. So I'll probably just leave them that length. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I'm done, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and we'll get these screwed in. I'm just gonna use three inch uh, exterior screws for this part. So yeah guys, I just want this 
close enough that I can still get my wrench on there. Kind of protect you here from it. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that up right there. That looks pretty straight. Down. Okay guys, my last step I can't finish today um, and I I really don't know if I even need to because this thing is so heavy and the short, short distances that I'm taking this trailer, I don't know that these are going to come out of the pocket. I'll probably still finish it, um, but what I noticed is the carriage bolts that I got, the six inch ones, aren't going to work for this because what I wanted to be able to do is have it long enough that I was actually just gonna trim off the, the uh, threads and I was gonna drill a hole through it for a cotter pin and then run it through. And I didn't get a long enough one for that because what I wanna do here on my setup is I need to go through, basically I'm gonna need to go through all three of these and then I wanna come out the middle of this uh, bracket here. So I'm gonna need probably, if we go through all this, it's it would probably work, but there then I would just be into the I would be into the threads, and I don't want to have the threads, so I think I'm gonna go with like an eight inch one. I think that was the longest one I could get, and then I'll just cut it back. So what I'll do is I'll run it from the back side, and I'll run it right through the middle here, and then I can put a cotter pin out here on the outside. So. I'll have to follow up and, and do that one later. But overall, it was a pretty quick project. I think it went pretty well. Everything seems to fit really well. Um, these things have enough, you know, shaving those two by fours down with one blade. I think that was a, a major key. Those come in and out pretty easy. And then this here again in the front is just a friction fit. And then in the back, we're just sitting in between those two cleats. So I appreciate you following along in this project with me. I hope it was helpful to you. I'm going to put a link to several of the tools I use in the description. Uh, if there's anything that I use that you find helpful, you can go ahead and do some research on it yourself and check it out. And otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Now I got to go clean up this mess. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.